hello guys welcome back once again we are going to continue with our series that is how to design school management system what we are going to look at it today is how to install wordpress and then how to install the themes cleaning of wordpress dashboard that's what we are going to look at so without wasting much time let's get started so first of all let's go to our hosting platform if you have not logged in just do that okay i think i've already done that so i'll go to dashboard okay so i think i have to log in again so i will enter my username then my password Okay, so I'm in. So what I have to do is I have to go to my control panel. Okay, so straight away I will enter my username. And password here. I have to enter my authentication code so i'm checking it on my phone good so i'm inside okay so these are the website that i've added on my platform okay now the domain that we are working on is gig edicom okay gig edicom this is the domain let's see what we did the last time we were able to add it today so we have not installed the wordpress okay so let's come back here we are now going to install wordpress on our domain all these are websites which i have added on my account okay good so if you go specially let me show you what if you want to uh, get an account uh, that is a, a server which will help you to add more websites on limited websites then come here let me show you with the 200 you will be able to add unlimited website you have you get ssd storage of 10 gigabyte okay ssd storage of 10 gigabytes okay that's cool and then 155 gigabytes so if you buy this you'll be able to add more website on limited website okay so let's come back here so and then the backup is 30 days okay 30 days okay backup so it means that when something goes wrong you still have access to your all your websites okay now later i will show you i will i mean i will just give you something about the back backup how to restore backup and how to okay so let's move on so i will come here and click the pencil icon here right now this is our domain there's nothing on it so we are going to install wordpress okay so to do that click, click here quick install app click that and come here all these are uh, app that we can install on our domain okay so this is what we are looking for wordpress the most popular website builder okay so far okay so good the school that i'm designing this website for is uh, that is gig gig educo I want to make it uh, capital letter GIG Edicom. Okay, so GIG Edicom. Okay, so let's make it forward slash God is good. The name of the school is God is good. Sorry, God is good. Yeah, that is God is good. Okay, uh, God is good educational complex. Yeah educational educational complex so it's good it's good educational complex okay good so i've done that username that i want to use here is everyday indicators because i'll be managing the website okay and then the email that i want to use um i would definitely um, let make it uh, uh, G, uh info at 
gij educom okay dot com educom educom dot com okay good and then the password i will generate one okay good i will generate one here okay so let us continue over here you can leave the rest okay but okay i can decide to add the database name that is uh g i g educom okay and then you can leave the rest okay so i will leave it like i will leave it okay so after that we have to install now everything is fine now so we have to install web we have to install it so we have to click here to install it okay okay so it's successful okay so what do we do now we have to log into our wordpress dashboard so i'll come here and rest so good so i have to refresh the page after that they come here and type slash wp dash admin okay so we have to log in okay good so i will enter okay my username and then i will paste the password here and click login okay so i'm already inside so what we are going to do is right now as you can see is the dashboard is not looking good i think it's new to you don't worry i'm going to walk you through step by step okay so first of all let's clean the dashboard okay so i will get rid of this after which i will come here i will come here and uncheck all these just to clean the dashboard okay good so let me close that and let me go to uh, theme okay so what are theme i think uh i don't have to explain it again the theme um i had a certain function to the site um i see theme as something like um a paint okay so the structure of the theme the, uh, i mean um that is it gives the structure of the site okay so how you want the site so for instance if you want to design uh, uh that is a social media website you have to go for a team who can give you that features okay good so that's what about theme okay so let's see good we have that's why we have different type of theme we have a blog blogging one portfolio one social media theme okay so you have to go for that particular theme because that will give you the structure of what you're looking for okay good so let me delete it okay so all this this is uh, the active one all these are not the active so let me open this in a new tab then you look at what i'm talking about so this is the active uh, the active one and so if i activate this one then it means that the looks will change okay so let me refresh here and as you can see it has changed okay so let me go back with this one and after which i will delay this okay let's wait okay so now i have to delay this okay so i have to delay this okay good and after that let's come back here and go to plugins okay and so uh, let me go to plugins so we have installed plugins here if you want to learn about how to design professional websites you can join my uh, that is the whatsapp group using the phone number below this video okay or you can also join our official website at irida.com irida.com that one too is below this video irida.com okay so join our official website and learn for free okay we don't say our course everything is free okay so let me click here and go to delete to apply so that it will delete everything okay because we want to this this came with the installation so we want to install our own themes and plugins okay good what else let's go to post there is also a default post here so let we have to delete it and then after that let's go to the trash 
I have to speed up a little bit okay I have to go to trash then we have to empty the trash okay good good so now let's go to pages the pages too we have the default page that came with the installation we have to delete everything okay so I'll go to trash and empty the trash okay good so I think the clean of WordPress is done. Let's go to tools, health, site health, and times. When you go there, it will give you an idea of what you need to do. Okay, disk space available to. Okay, so. Okay, everything is fine here. Okay. Could not. I don't know why they are saying this, but let's move on. Okay good so what else we need to do let's come to settings here okay uh, settings go to settings and let's go to payment links okay go to payment links here and good here we have day and name has been selected uh, if you add your pages and post uh, the name i mean the day that you create a post and then the date will be added okay including the name so for instance if i'm i'm creating a post about how to design a website it will be radar.com slash how to design a website slash uh, no the date will come followed by how to design a website which is not nice at all okay so in order to get rid of that we have to come here and select post name so that will be your domain name slash the uh the post name simple as that okay i don't know if i'm making sense of or if if you understand what i'm trying to say okay okay so that is good so what else can we do here and then uh, let's go to general okay now what we are going to do is a school website school management website whereby teachers students will be able to log in so here membership select anyone can register okay because without that if you don't do that nobody will be able to register on your website okay what's the tag name tag name you can give a description about your website okay uh that's the you can say that uh gig gig is a uh, no i won't repeat that it's a learning platform blah blah blah, blah. Okay, i don't want to spend a lot of time here okay because something i have to plan it's a description about your school okay so you have to put something good uh good okay what else um that is all that we need to do let me go to the dashboard and let's see if there's something that we need to do uh, so far so good now we're able to install wordpress clean the wordpress dashboard and so what i can say for you right now is thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe okay subscribe and like okay you can even share okay now let us roll this um together okay so this will help me to do more just